something that we, uh, we took along with us on our trip that a lot of people would probably consider a luxury item. Um, I, I consider it to be essential, especially traveling outside the U.S. If you're in the U.S. and you're traveling from park to park, you really don't need a chair because they all come with uh, benches and, you know, there's always some. But if you go anywhere else, over, over to Europe, Southeast Asia, you're pretty much on your own. So um, when we left home, we left home with another brand, a different type of just a stool, a three-legged stool, which was uh, comfortable in the beginning. After, however, after about a month or so, we found ourselves not sitting in them and just sitting on the ground um, until we were in Spain. And uh, we met a Dutch couple down in the south part of Spain that had these chairs. Um, it was called the Hellenox. Um, it's billed as a lightweight outdoor adventure equipment. Um, at the time, they were new to the market, hadn't even heard of them. And um, so we, uh, we proceeded to keep traveling until uh, we were going to England, where we actually had our daughter, who was meeting us in England, bring these with us. We've had these now for more than three years. And uh, I love them. I mean, really, there's, this is the most comfortable thing to sit in. It's small. It's light. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for you. As you notice the bag, I mean the bag has got some wear on it. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you. This is what it comes in. It comes in this bag. And you open this up inside. You have the mesh. And you have the poles. And you can simply just let it kind of fall apart. And the, the poles are, you know, bungeed, so they kind of go into place. That's the frame. You take the mesh. And you just slip the mesh over. It's got these little pockets here that are kind of hardened there. Now three of them go on pretty easy. This fourth one can be a little bit tough, um, but you can get it in there. And like I said, you see how even after three years, and I can't even, I don't even know how many hundreds, thousands of times we've set these up for breaks, for camping. Um, you know, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's been rained on, tossed around, been blown over by the wind, tumbled down, you know, through the campground. I can't say enough good things about this though. Um, this thing is great. I think I forget what it's rated up to, um, but I mean, if you know, if you're a cyclist, I don't think weight's really an issue because you're probably losing more weight than you're gaining. I would like to point out too, before I forget, this bag. Normally, what we did with the bag is we just kept it on the back back here, on each side. I forgot to do that before I put this on, so. Um, so it stays right there. Um, now I'm gonna sit in it. Like so. You see, I mean, it's solid. I mean, this thing is great, really. Um, and we own two of these. We've had them three years. Um, and you can just see how comfortable it is. And it sure beats sitting on the wet ground or in the sand. So I would recommend if you're about to take off, even if you just want a nice chair to take with you camping to the beach, because I mean, these things are lightweight. They're smaller than a lot of other things you can get. Um, I believe you can get them through uh, Amazon or um, we have seen them at our local outdoor store, which we recommend always supporting your local shops first. Um, the local small shops. Not so much maybe the big box stores, but I, mean, I don't think you'll find this in those stores anyway. So um, that's a review of the Helinox chair. They may have more models. I have not been to their website since we really purchased these. And like I said, that was over three years ago. Um, yeah, it was 2013. So probably about August, July, August, 2013. So, um, you know, if you, uh, if you like this review, please click like down below, pass the word, um, check these out. I think you'll be happy with them. 
I think when we bought ours, it was priced around 80 US dollars, I think. It's not exactly cheap, but you know, sometimes comfort costs, such as the tent behind me. It wasn't cheap, but that was home for over, you know, two years. Um, and it's probably got, I don't know how many more years left in it. It's a great tent, but this isn't about the tent. It's about the chair. So, all right. Well, thank you.